Shake off that feeling of depression. Wipe your tears. Because an end has come to those problems. You are about to smile again. You are going to celebrate. You have reached the end of the tunnel and the light is here to welcome you. The days of your sorrows are over and joy has come to stay. It is your season of fruitfulness, of abundant grace and mercy, of enjoying God's mercies and blessings. It is your time to shine, your turn to celebrate. All those burdens that have weighed you down in the past are being lifted. For the troubles that you have been through, God will restore you in double fold. An end has come to the hardships in your life, and a whole new world is being opened to you. You can walk with your head raised high, with a smile on your face now. You are going from rags to riches, from struggling to surfing in abundance, from grass to grace. God will raise you above your limitations and keep you above your enemies. According to the scriptures, you will be seated in heavenly places above your limitations, those problems and challenges. No more struggling for you, no more hustling. Old things are passed away, and so you will have no reason to remember those pains and agony anymore. God is stepping into the situation, so you can relax. Watch as He makes everything beautiful in your life. He's more than able to rewrite your story and turn the tide around in your favor. What people may have termed impossible will become possible to you. Your miracle is on the way. God is aware of the challenges you are going through. He sees every of your efforts, listens to every worry that comes from your heart. You should know you are not alone in that situation. And God is not just folding His arms watching you go through those things. He has promised that when you go through trials in life, you will come out uncharted. And when you go through the waters, it will not overwhelm you. He will be right there with you, guiding and leading you. He will be your rod and your staff, a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. The hardship you are going through is just a phase and it will be over before you know it. God is not just with you in that situation. He's also clearing the path ahead and working to see that you step out into glamour and wonders. He is working even if you cannot see the things He is doing. Those hardships you are experiencing are going to pave the way for greater things in your life. The trials you face are just a part of your success story. When you see the glory that lies ahead of you, it will take your mind off the troubles that you have been experiencing. God is making a way for you in the current wilderness that you find yourself. He is shining in your path and bringing out something wonderful from your past. Sorrow may last all through the night, but joy comes in the morning. You are already in the morning, and it is time to experience the light of God. Those days of sorrowing and borrowing are over. The times when you have to beg for the leftovers of other people are behind you now. God has created a way of escape for you from that situation. Your story will surprise and inspire people around you. It is time to enter into your rest and see how things work for your good. You are no longer under any form of bondage because Christ has paid it all for you. He has taken the obstacles from your way and delivered you, giving you a life of freedom and abundance. Man began to experience hardship and labor when the first man and woman sinned and went again God's commandments. The ground was cursed for man's sake, and since then, man has to labor to get everything he wants. It was as though man has been condemned to a life of hardship. However, when Christ came into the picture, all of that changed. He took our sins upon himself and delivered us from the curse. He became poor so that we will be rich. He was despised by men, forsaken, beaten, and wounded for our sake. By his stripes we have been healed. So we do not have to go through all that process again. 
We do not have to go through the pain, the struggles, and the hardship again. Christ came to give us life, and that life is abundance. God is doing a new thing in your life. When you believe Him, you will begin to see the manifestation of His blessing. No child of God should have to struggle without results. The Bible says that He gives His beloved rest. What is it that you are going through that you think impossible for God to do? What are those peculiar challenges that have made your life a living hell? It is time to step into your rest and let God take over from here. He will make all crooked paths straight and level every mountain standing between you and your success. There is nothing God cannot do, and that includes your situation. Are you in debt? Have you been living from hands to mouth, trying to make ends meet but always falling short? God is the owner of silver and gold. He owns the cattle upon a thousand hills, and He delights in the prosperity of His children. He will make you wealthy and deliver you from debt. Instead of borrowing, you will be a lender to nations. The widow whose creditors were going to take her children cried out to the prophet and God used him to turn her story around. From a debtor, she became an oil merchant. She had enough money to buy the creditors and still take care of herself and her children. There was a time when the children of Israel were facing a siege and things were so difficult for them. There was no food and famine was prevalent in the land. Elisha made a decree that there will be abundance and it happened just within 24 hours. God can open the windows of heaven for your sake and rain down blessings on you, whatever areas of your life that you have been facing one challenge or the other. God will come through for you. He will heal you of every form of ailment that has besieged your body and give you health and vitality. Jesus did it for the woman with the issue of blood and the blood stopped flowing. It does not matter how long you have been in that situation. Just know that a change is coming your way and you will be victorious in the end. The story of Joseph still remains an inspiring one even today. He had to go through so much hardship in his life even as a teen. From slavery, he went to the prison and for a while there, it looked as though there was no end to his problems. But miraculously, God brought him out of the prison. He did not just get out of prison, he went on to become the Prime Minister of Egypt. That could be your story too. You do not have to be in prison, but that problem or challenge you are going through right now will give way to your lifting. You are rising above every circumstance and shining forth your light like you were meant to. God has written out your script a long time ago, and it has a beautiful ending. Remember, He makes all things beautiful in His time. It is time to turn the page, say goodbye to hardship, and begin to live the good life that God has designed for you. All you will experience now is joy everlasting, peace, and unending abundance. Your troubles are now behind you. Rejoice!